All right, what is up, you guys? I am here with um, kind of a surprising video. I know this is late. I was actually seeing John Wick 3 right before the movie started. I got this news, so I wasn't able to make anything until now, unfortunately. You know, I didn't want to wait this long, but yeah, Ashley Mazzaro died at the age of 39. And some, I had posted something on Instagram quick, you know, just to get something out there. I had mentioned that she was my first autograph. I have it right here. So, yeah. Um, definitely new meaning to having this autograph. It's one of the, you know, I have Chris Benoit's autograph, Eddie Guerrero's. And, you know, I treat them um, to a higher standard. And this one now as well. You know, I'm proud to say I have this. Um, right now, there's not too many details. What I was reading was it's being treated as non-criminal. So, you know, that can mean a lot of things. You know, it's just kind of surprising. She was only 39. So you would assume it was criminal at that age. But, you know, obviously it's not. So, you know, it could be a lot of things. Right now, we really don't know. But, you know, obviously we all know she won a... The $250,000 Diva Search contract, and, you know, she really wasn't around for too, too long. You know, she was on the Survivor, which stunted her athletic ability at the time. So, you know, after that, her wrestling role was very limited. But, you know, I remember very clearly just um, WrestleMania 23, the Lumberjill match with her and Melina. You know, we had the Royal Rumble 2008 segment. Terrible segment, but it's just a fond memory I have with um, Maria Canellis and Santino Morella and then Ashley. And then you got Big Dick Johnson. And then obviously uh, she was also a Playboy cover girl. So, you know, that's probably her biggest accomplishment outside of the ring. And, you know, I think the last Twitter post she made... She was talking about um, reading fan mail. So, yeah, you know, I'm definitely very proud to have this autograph. And, um, you know, I've never met her. Uh, I've seen her live once in 2007. I believe it was 2007. So, yeah, you know, I think a lot of people really downplayed her role in the WWE because this was a time when women's wrestling was much different. But I think she really did have talent. She had the look. She had, you know, I love the theme song she had. And, you know, I think she had a lot going for her. And obviously her in-ring career wasn't as long as it could have been. But, you know, it would have been cool to see her possibly in one of the Rumbles. Or, you know, WrestleMania Women's Battle Royals. Something like that. And, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure they'll put her in the Hall of Fame. You know, some people will debate whether or not she deserves that, but, you know, to each their own. But, yeah, I just wanted to come on here and kind of talk about this a little bit. And, honestly, today I thought I was going to have to talk about Ric Flair as well, but that rumor was uh, downshot pretty quick. Um, just a medical procedure that was scheduled, so, yeah, I'm sure he'll be fine. So, yeah. One more time, let me know what your memories are of Ashley Mazzaro, and, you know, if you have this autograph as well. Um, you know, one of the, I love these chromographs, they were so cool. I've been trying to get my hands on a Chris Benoit one forever now, and a Rey Mysterio one, but it'd be cool to get all those. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and, you know, comment down below your memories, your thoughts, and, uh, I guess that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This has been the DVD Freak. Peace out.